Do you want to watch Tim Pool talk about the Durham? How long is it? It's like two or three minutes. Oh, okay, yeah. If it's two or three minutes, let's watch Tim Pool uh, talk I'm about sure it. I'm sure he's, uh, yeah. He's okay. responding to this Daily Mail article about some disclosures about Hillary and Obama and stuff in the Durham probe. So he's just reading through it. So he's not reading the actual. Uh, no, 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 he's reading the Daily Mail. So he, it's the Tim Pool human centipede of information again, right? Uh, how quickly does it say word evil? Or do we have a long enough uh, clip? <laughs> Winge. That's that's you are whinging Clinton. The report also states that several other former members of the Clinton campaign were interviewed regarding the plan that Clinton had approved. Those individuals included Podesta and Jake Sullivan. Despite the government's handling of the Clinton plan, intelligence amounted to a significant intelligence failure and a troubling insistence of confirmation bias leading to tunnel vision pursuit. It did not amount to a provable criminal offense, Durham concluded. Durham also found that claims Pause about like Clinton's he's, attempt- he's, he's, he's just sort of like, blo- he just, I don't even know if he knows what he's reading. Confirmation bias. In other words, not any type of political bias, but just confirmation bias. In other words, investigators find crimes sometimes or find uh, suspicious activity when there's not suspicious activity. Yeah. Amount to a provable criminal offense, Durham concluded. Durham also found that claims about Clinton's attempts to smear Trump received less scrutiny than allegations about her opponent, even though they were serious enough to to be taken to President Barack Obama and Vice President Joe Biden. Durham admitted that the claims were not corroborated or verified, but compares it with the now discredited Steele dossier outlining Trump's ties to Moscow, which formed the basis of further investigations. For example... An FBI intelligence analyst stated that he could not recall anything that the FBI did to analyze or otherwise consider the Clinton plan intelligence, stating that it was just one data point. This Pause stands in sharp contrast. Clinton plan intelligence. That is just a made up <laughs> phrase. Basically, this article is saying that Hillary like denied that she was attempting to vilify Trump. Um, by claiming there was foreign interference in the election from Russia, um, even though apparently she had like no, there was a, there was some, a, there was some intelligence or intelligence like brought to Obama and Biden about the plan to vilify Trump using uh, those claims. He gets to a very hack and crazy analogy, here, which is just why I'm trying to bring this to its up. substantial reliance on the uncorroborated steel reports which at least some FBI personnel appeared to know was likely being funded or promoted by the Clinton campaign. You see the game they played? (laughs) They say, well, we didn't do anything wrong because what they do is they compartmentalize. You get one guy to do so. Here's what you do. Please tell me. It's like it's like it's like a uh, uh, this would be a great movie about a bank heist. A guy walks in and then he drops a cell phone. Whoops. And then another guy walks over and picks the cell phone up and then carries it to the back, you know, to the back and says, I found this cell phone, which then goes off, sending a signal to a man who just so happened to have some other device. The point is, one by one, an individual action is taken by people who seemingly don't know each other. And then the money is stolen. It ends with someone accidentally forgetting to lock the back of the armored truck and the cash falls out. Some guy walks over, picks it up, shrugs, looks at a, at a, at a truck and says, is this, did you drop this? And then puts it in the truck and shrugs, and then walks away. Then the truck leaves, carrying away the millions of dollars. And guess what? Not a single person did anything criminal. That's what they're trying to say. That actually would be a pretty fun movie, right? Like there's a truck, armored truck, oh my money God. falls off the armored truck, and a guy looks at the bag and he goes, excuse me, did, did this fall off your truck? Has anybody? I, th- I think it fell off the truck, places it there. Then a guy gets in his truck and leaves. This guy driving a truck. A and then if it ever comes down to the FBI investigating, they'll say, well, look, nobody actually committed any crimes. They all know each other and they all talk on a regular basis. But you see, what happened was. The first guy who walked in, he bumped into the guard who dropped his keys, and then the other guy thought the keys oh belonged my God, to I can't guy. even. Uh, this what? <laughs> I, I understand what he's saying here, that, um, but there is either in his make-believe world, these guys actually got together and said, "Here's the plan. We're all going to do these seemingly unillegal activities." Right. And they're going to add up to get the money out of the bank and put it into the uh, truck. But there is actually something called like the RICO statutes. And that is, 
that what they're doing is illegal because they're planning it. Exactly, it's conspiracy. <laughs> and and it, it, it is illegal. <laughs> criminal conspiracy. The, the the problem is after four years, and the full weight of the U.S. government, millions of dollars, Durham found nothing of the sort that there was any like concerted effort to do this. Yeah. But instead, found that. To the extent that the FBI was overzealous in investigating Trump, it was not because they didn't have reason to start an investigation, but rather they had something called confirmation bias, yeah. which I would imagine every single FBI agent has in every single case they work on, which I would gladly get rid of that, but I would apply it to a lot better people than Donald Trump, frankly. Uh, in a lot more uh, less serious circumstances or more serious circumstances for that matter. And Durham has absolutely no evidence of what Tim Pool is implying here, which is that they all had plausible deniability, but in fact, there was, was a secret plot all amongst them. How do you do a, how do you use confirmation bias to steal money from a bank? Because that's not really like... <laughs> well, that's the other weird part here. It's like, I can't even tell what he's analogizing exactly. He, Is he saying that the FBI investigated all this stuff was actually illicit and there was some secret plan to direct the FBI to do it? Or is he saying that... Who, like, who are, the, who are the people... I know Clinton is one of like the people who dropped the phone or she whatever was the first it is. One who went in and dropped but the phone. but is the FBI the ones who stick the money in the truck? Because that's a pretty serious like. Yeah. He's saying that the the uh, the Clintons controlled the FBI. This guy's just a joker. There were, incidentally, the words Clinton plan is nowhere in the Durham uh, report. It is a made up term uh, from uh, the the this newspaper. I want to see that movie though. <laughs> is this yours? Is this a sack of four hundred thousand dollars? This this is yours, right? Are you sure? right. Oh, put, put it in the put back it. of the truck. Put it in the back of the truck. Well, that's possession of stolen. <laughs> <laughs> the Higgs Scruton says, "No, no, his movie idea is they didn't plan it. It's the accidental Italian job." <laughs> 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 